Hey, hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to use some stop motion to create a conversation um, in an eLearning course. That I'm going to use PowerPoint. Let me just go ahead and show you the effect. So um, you might have these three characters, and you can, if they're having a conversation, they might, let me get this going, right? They might change poses. And that's using kind of a fade effect. You can also do the same thing. Um, where it's like true stop motion, where it's just swapping out the images, and that works fine. But the fade is kind of a nice effect. So um, let me close out of here. And uh, I did this in PowerPoint, but you can do this in most e-learning authoring tools as well. And I'll go ahead and give you the source files, so you can click on the the link on the screen or look in the show notes, and uh, you can download the the source files and follow along. It'll be the PowerPoint files as well as the character images that are in here. So. If you think that's cool, uh, please take a second and just like this video. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you first. You know, I always like to have the selection in video uh, and uh, visibility pane open to to control the um, the different layers. And I'll do the um, oops animation pane as well. Let's go ahead and show the animation pane. Now this one. <laughs> I don't have the animation set up because this is my working file. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. So on the background here, um, and I'm going to include eight images for you in this file, but uh, basically two poses of each. And you'll notice that I actually went through four different poses, and I'm going to show you how you can actually manipulate two images into four um, by just doing a couple little tweaks. So let's go ahead and insert all of these character images, and let's... Uh, let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So it's really going to help if you can name these characters the way you want. Um, and I know that this, these two characters I'm going to want to face the other direction. So let's just go ahead and flip them horizontal for now. And I'll worry about the alignment and everything later. But let's get them separated a little bit. So it's it's really helpful to be naming these characters in a way that's going to be useful for you. So um, I'm going to do a sequence where I'm basically going to have all three of them listening, so you can see what I've done here. All listening, then the guy on the left is going to talk and everyone else is going to listen, then the woman on the right is going to talk, and then she's going to do, the woman on the right is going to do a second talking pose. So let's go ahead and create that kind of setup. Um, if I'm naming these guys, I'm going to say this guy is going to be left, listen, and I know that's going to be the first pose I want to do. So let's just put a one in there. And uh, then this is going to be the second pose that he's in. So I'm going to say second pose, left character, talk. Um, I'm going to call this the first pose. Center character is going to be forward. And then the second pose of her, the center, she's going to be facing the left, right? Because he's going to be talking in that second pose. And now this is um, listening pose. So her first pose facing, now she's going to be listening. One right listen. And now we're going to do Uh, and the second one, she's also listening. So actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate her. So control D and I'm going to say that her second pose is going to be two R listen. And then her third pose is actually going to be three, right? Talk. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate her control D and that's going to be four, right? Talk whatever, I could say talk to if I wanted to. All right, so now my uh, left character in the third pose is going to be listening, listening. So let's go ahead and take this. And we're going to duplicate his listening pose, and we're going to call that three, left, listen, and then he's going to listen again. So let's duplicate that and do four, left, listen. Okay, and now in the center character, 
uh, in the third pose, the right person's talking. So we're going to duplicate it. And I'm actually going to flip that horizontal so she's facing the other direction. And her third pose is going to be three center facing the right. And her fourth pose is going to be the same thing. Now, you know, you don't have to be duplicating the character, but what I'm going to do is actually manipulate a couple of things where I make that same image look like a new one by moving her a little bit. So four center right. Okay, so now I basically have the sequence of all of these, and I kind of like to, to group these by character just so that I'm uh, able to follow them. So all my left characters, let's go ahead and move them down. So now they're all grouped together, and my right characters, let's go ahead. And uh, I move that one up. And then my center character, these are all together. And now they're just in the right order. This makes it a lot easier. Um, and also in PowerPoint, a little trick is you can actually change picture. So, so if I did like a right click change picture, even after I have all these animations built in, I don't lose that animation. So it's one of the cool things about, about setting up the, the files this way in PowerPoint. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and add the animations and you'll see why the naming of the, the characters is really going to help us out. So essentially we're going to be wanting to fade out um, certain poses and fade in other poses. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we don't need the first pose to appear because that's going to be on the screen as the first shot. So let's go ahead and I'm going to shift click each of the second poses and then add animation and I'm going to make it a fade appear. Great. Now I'm going to do the third poses. Again, shift clicking and I'm going to add animation fade. And now I'm going to do the fourth poses, shift clicking, and I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now the problem with what we just created is that um, they're going to be stacking on top of each other. And I can show you kind of what, what the problem is going to be. So that first pose is fine, but right, it's just going to be building, and that's really not the effect that we were trying to create. So we need to add the fade outs. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to add the selection of visibility paint again. And so now we need the first pose to be disappearing for each. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll add an animation and we're going to fade out. And then second pose, shift clicking, add animation, fade out. And then the third for all three here add animation, exit, fade out. We, now we don't need to fade out the fourth one because um, it's going to be the one that ends on the screen and that's fine. Um, now we need to match these up. So when the, let's go ahead and the first pose needs to, so I just shift click to grab all three. The first pose is going to need to disappear as the second pose is appearing. So let's go ahead and drag that up. And now we're gonna change this to start with previous and now that's all one group. So first one disappears as the second one appears. And the second one, I'm shift clicking, dragging these up. And then we're going to start with previous. And then the third one disappears as the fourth one appears. So let's go ahead and start with previous. Actually, let's click on all of them. Start with previous. Okay, so that should be the effect that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and preview this. Great, so now some weird things are happening, right? We need the characters to actually be where they're supposed to be. So let's go ahead and mess with the alignment here. All right, so. Let's go ahead and move the characters roughly where we want. And, you know, I'm not gonna spend as much time as I normally would getting it perfectly aligned, but this should be enough to kind of show you the general effect. And, uh, okay, so let's take a quick look. Actually, I'd like to move her down a little. I just grabbed them all there by dragging my mouse over. Let's take a quick look at that effect. Okay. 
Great. So now you're wondering, like, you will you saw a couple of those fades that just faded the same image on top of each other. What I was trying to do with that fourth one, so let's see, fourth one to the right, you know, you want to make it a little bit different. So let's do a slight, like, a slight lean in, so, you know, just a little bit, and then let's move it a little bit over there. And same thing, this guy, in this fourth pose, he's listening. He was also doing that on the third one. So let's go ahead and have him lean in slightly we'll move him a little bit just to make that subtle uh, are there any other ones where they're the same pose it's basically between the it's between the third and fourth poses so i think i fixed those enough oh you know her talking it's the same thing now she's going to lean in on this pose and then we'll move it a little bit over there. Now let's see it, how we kind of multiply those two poses into to feel like four. So and now, and I, I would probably mess around with that a little bit. I think I leaned, a, I made it a little too dramatic with the lean in. Um, but uh, you know, you can make that more subtle just by not rotating the images quite as much. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. I do have a bonus download for you uh, that includes. Uh, these images as well as a bunch of other images so you can click on the, the link on the screen or you can also check out the show notes i also have three other videos that i think that you would find useful so um, you'll see I'm, i've provided the links again i'm providing the links on the screen here that you can check out or you can uh, you can check that out in the show notes as well um, and if you like these youtube videos i suggest you also subscribe to the channel and you'll get updates anytime i publish a new youtube video so Thanks so much. Hope you found this useful and have a great day.